before Livy was born. I mean, that, that is, <laughs> those are different people. That is really hard to remember. It is genuinely, uh, you know, jarring to think about, um, you know, who we were before uh, and who we are now. We're the Jarvis family and we have three kids, Daniel, Michael, and Livy. Ready? Let's go. Come on, Livy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Yay! Livy has Wolf Hirschhorn syndrome. Before the age of two is typically when these kids will pass away, just from you know, seizure disorders, which Livy has, kidney malformation, heart defects, which we, she had open heart. She is very developmentally delayed. And that, I think, was the, one of the hardest things to hear them say. She most likely won't walk, won't talk, won't orally eat and do all these things. And for a long time, I don't think we gave her enough credit. We thought that, oh, her, her inner life, her intellectual life is unsophisticated in some way. But then, like, especially in the last couple of years, we've really noticed that there, there is a tremendous amount going on. Um, and I mean, you, you can imagine what that's like to, to know what you want and to be locked in, to not be able to express yourself. You know, she can't talk, but she says a lot. Our boys, growing up with Livy, it's affected them in, in hard, you know, hard ways, but then also just ways that I would have never thought. Like they are both kind, calm, when they need to be patient, they see the livies of the world and acknowledge them as, as, as people and, and see their value and, and their worth. And they always try to make everybody feel included. And you can just see that there's, a, there's an uncommon maturity yes. in siblings of kids like this. What they've had has been hard. But it's, but it's had value. All right, one, two, three. Oh, there we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Are you ready? The first four years of her life are still kind of a blur to me because we had so many challenges, so many scary situations where we almost lost her just numerous times. And for me, what, where Chapel Street stepped in, especially the Masterpiece Moms Ministry, we were in the hospital for a very long time and the Masterpiece Moms came together and like brought meals. And I think what was so like healing for me in that moment was moms were coming that related to me on such a deep level. And I didn't feel like I had to explain myself. They just knew. Until you've been in isolation um, in, in any area of your life, you know, if you've been really and truly isolated, um, you know, finding community is like being able to breathe. Mm -hmm. And that's what Chapel Street did. Livy is now 10, which is a huge deal. I go into the day knowing that, okay, good and bad will always coexist. And it's up to us to choose to enjoy that day with her, regardless of what it's like. And if she is, you know, living her best life, which Livy life is bubbles 
and music and lights and pureness and joy and just love. Like that is just, Livy is love. If I had to describe her in one word, I would just say love. And she's, she's so much better at being, <laughs> at being in the moment than any of us. I look back to what could have been pre-Libby and just how different, how much we've changed and our experiences and oh, who we've become and because of that who our boys especially will become. And none of that would be the same without Livy, without the insane hard, without the insane stress and grief and worry and anxiety. The little package of Livy has just been so worth it. She was made for our little family. I think that a good and general lesson that Olivia and kids like her have to offer the rest of us is that you know your impact on the world and on the people around you it is not only about what you can do. You know, it's, it's even more about who you are. And she can't, she can't do much, but I know who she is. <laughs>